Hey there, and welcome to this week's session of tapping. Today, we are going to tap to help increase your sex drive. So this is a big issue, especially for ladies that are going into perimenopause or in perimenopause, in menopause. Um, certainly see it with some of my younger clients these days too. Lots of reasons for lowered sex drive. Of course, hormones can be a huge issue, but also there's often an emotional maybe disconnect that's happening, whether that disconnect be with our partner, whether that disconnect be with our bodies, because we're not happy with our bodies as they are. Maybe we have a lot of stress going on in our lives. That's a huge reason. Um, so you definitely need to tackle this in multiple different ways, but today we're just going to do the sort of energetic and emotional support. So if you haven't tapped with me before, it's really simple. Just follow along. You're going to start with tapping on what's called the karate chop point, and that can be either your left or your right hand. Doesn't matter which one. And let's take a nice deep breath together. Breathe in. Hold the top and then let it out. And repeat after me. Even though I'm struggling with my sex drive, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though my sex drive is nowhere near to where it used to be, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. It's frustrating that I can't seem to access this drive, either because I used to have it and don't now, or because I've never really had it. I know that there are many reasons for my lack of sex drive, but I'm ready to work on and heal those reasons because I know sex drive isn't just about sex. It's also about vitality. It's also about having excitement for things happening in life, for being out in the world, for creation, and my creative spirit. So whether I use that drive for internal purposes or external purposes, I know that coming back into that place inside of me helps to fill me up in so many ways. I accept that I'm not gonna have high sex drive all of the time, and that's okay. I accept that there's different things that my body is going through or will go through that will impact my sex drive. Even though all of these things are true, I deeply and completely love honor and accept myself. I start from a place of appreciating my body. I start from a place of knowing how incredibly amazing my body is. I understand that I need to work on stress in my life that I need to work on connection with myself and others, and that I need to allow my body to heal from trauma or other reasons that I may feel suppressed at this time. I know my body has amazing capabilities to heal, to feel vibrant, 
to feel energetic and to feel connected. I know I deserve connection. First and foremost, with myself. And secondly, with those that I love and who love me back. I know I can always come back to myself for support, love, and understanding. I know that I don't have to force myself to feel anything that I don't, but rather just sit in appreciation of my beautiful body, all of its external aspects, all of the beauty found inside of myself, everything that makes me, me. I am a powerful being. I am a sensual being. I know that my body loves to feel good. It loves to feel good inside of itself. It loves to feel good out in the world. It loves to feel good connected to others. And so I allow that which inhibits me from feeling the best that I can, from feeling my sensual nature, from reigniting my sex drive, letting all of that go, just fall off to the side. Because I know that in allowing myself space and room and lots of love, my body will return the favor. And I know this in mind, body, and spirit. Release it out. And breathe it out. All right. Hope that one made you feel good and connected to your body. And I will see you next time.